Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. We are on our way back to the MOA rifle shop. We're probably less than two hours away. And we have my Wyoming bull in the back of the truck. And while we were driving late last night, we got a little intel on a really, really big Oregon bull. So it's looking like we're not gonna have much of any time at all to regroup. We're gonna literally hit the shop uh, we've got a couple freezers there, so we're going to get the antlers and the cape and the meat and everything uh, situated there and literally just turn and burn in the truck and head to northeast and go see if we can uh, turn up this this bull. A lot of times what you find in this uh, big bull chasing is it's kind of fairy dust. You never know until you actually see him, but uh, you got to go look, right? you got to follow every tangible lead that's out there to try to find a true giant so we're going to turn and burn and head out to northeast and see if we can turn him up nice seven point what are you doing i'm stolen stuff what's going on we're going elk hunting Okay, so Jim is on camera with us. We're leaving the MOA shop and we are going to Northeast Oregon to try to get a enormous bull. So wish us luck. Running and gunning. Okay. Just getting the morning started. First morning out, some giant, giant country, an area that uh, known to have a big bull or two in it. So now it's just a matter of hitting the glass and turning it up and seeing what we think if uh, <clears throat> we don't find what we're looking for on this lead. We'll probably hop in an airplane this evening and go through a little bit of this country and then. We can start uh, spotting some things and then come back and get on the ground the following day and start looking and identifying. So, big country, guys. Should be a good look. So, gentlemen, from what little bit I am understanding at this point, you're headed one direction. Yep. I'm getting in the truck with, getting back in my truck with you guys. We are going to hit a couple spots on the way back to town. We're going to hope that the wind subsides, and we're going to fly this evening. And that's correct. That is our game plan. Yep, and yeah. then we're going to try to locate the bull and figure out a way in which to hunt him from them hillside that he's on yep. instead of this one that's two miles away. Yep. And it's a two hour drive to get around to him. So oh, nice. Okay, so we better get started. It would be nice if there was a bridge. <laughs> three across. Two mile bridge. Two, two mile bridge. bridge. All right. Okay. Well, let's do it. Go team. This segment is brought to you by the Night Force NXS 5.5 to 22 rifle scope. Available in 50 and 56 millimeter objectives. Features the high speed zero stop, a 30 millimeter tube allowing for 100 minutes of adjustment and multi coated glass. Producing superb resolution at high magnification.
Introducing the Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear Extreme Rear Support System, weighing in at only four ounces with push-button deployment into four locked positions and maneuverability to support your rifle during any shooting opportunity. There's no need to use a sandbag underneath the rear of your rifle ever again. Visit RuggedRidgeOutdoorGear.com for more information. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> Looks like you're doing a little work to make sure everything's right, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good, good deal. Have you, I'm sure you probably have, but have you checked the weather? Is this stuff that's coming in on the mountain well, an issue? Uh, it looks like, you know, up towards Sled Springs and uh, over towards Minum, uh, it looks halfway decent the last time I looked. You know, I don't know how fast it's moving. I, uh, well, just maybe you you can look on your tablet or whatever and we'll yeah, try to decide. Uh, I can look and see, yeah. you know, if they're getting any uh, radar shows precipitation. Okay. And so we can take a look at that. Okay. Some of you guys have seen these episodes in the past, so you can uh, imagine already what time it is. It's scouting time for those of you that have not seen the show. Um, we're here in Oregon again, right in our backyard, so to speak, and uh, we're looking for giant bull elk. The idea is that we're looking for a elk, not a bunch of elk, and in doing so, it can be extremely resourceful to use a plane to find single bulls that are off away from the herds and, and uh, kind of post rut, pre-winter type activities. So we've got fair weather, a little bit of wind. Hopefully we're not gonna need uh, Dramamine or puke bags. <laughs> I'm looking at you since you've never done this before. Well, no, last year it was a little rough. We went out a couple times and one of them got really rough. Calvin actually had to use the chum bag behind the seat, but I seem to be okay with it, so. If you're, okay. if you're, if you're sucking it's back there, you're problems. on your own. I know, right? <laughs> anyway, it's an exciting time, guys. This is something I look forward to. I know that, again, I said it last year too. Some of you guys hate on the flying deal, but it's legal. And uh, again, we're not looking for just gobs of elk. We're looking for a elk, right? Um, and this is a resourceful way to do it. And the limited amount of time that we have in this country is so huge and so big that once you find one, it's no gimme. It's not like you fly over and you just magically get an elk. I mean, you're gonna spend miles on foot and crazy steep country and everything else. We're just trying to do the most effective scouting that we can, so. We don't have parachutes to drop in on. No, <laughs> nope. So anyway, pilot's ready. We're gonna get in the plane and get this show going. Stay with us.
This segment of Extreme Outer Limits was brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, hosted by Bob Beck, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by G7, Grip and Pull, MOA Rifles, Night Force Optics, and Burger Bullets. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store. For all your brass, bullets, and ammunition needs, head to ExtremeStore.us. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Benchmark Barrels, the rifle barrel of choice for long-range hunters, competition shooters, and sport shooters worldwide. Ask for one on your next re-barrel or custom rifle build. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Kestrel Ballistics Weather Meters, the perfect match of long-range ballistics and environment. Get precision aiming solutions for your gun, your load, and your shot.
Well, it's the day after our really good flight. We spotted some potential bulls, I would say about four that we've uh, mapped out from that flight that look like they kind of had that appearance of a big mature bull. Uh, so now the goal is to get on the ground and uh, you know this is a bunch of area that we're looking at so it could take you know a couple days to actually get on the ground and flesh out exactly where these bulls are and and then on top of that you got to wait for them to actually stand out and give you a look and everything else but we're just gonna hit the glass use the spot and scopes we know the locations roughly you know within a say a half mile or a mile area we're just gonna find these elk and pick them apart and try to see if one of them is the one Good job, where am I looking here? Let me zoom out and get a field of view here, guys. Okay, dead trees. I want to be basically in the center. All right, just located the big bull, guys. Get Ooh, everybody. That's a good one. That's a good bull. That looks oh, like a nine feet tall.
If you're looking for a premium trophy quality elk or deer hunt, join us at one of our exclusive hunting camps at Star Valley Outfitters in Wyoming and Sheep Mountain Outfitters in Oregon. For more information on how to book your hunting trip of a lifetime, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. Stream Outer Limits is also brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Benchmark Barrels, Kestrel Ballistics Weather Meters, Lapua Brass, Passion for Precision, and Vitavuri Powder, the power of accuracy. 